How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to hook up this Xprinter XPDT-108B, also known as the Mei Hang Tong or the MF Label Printer, Alibaba Special, whatever you want to call it. You're going to be able to print mobily from your Android device to this printer. It's a pretty big breakthrough in mobile printing tech. This is the first video of its kind on the internet with these instructions. I literally got this working a couple of days ago and was extremely happy. I have shared this process with one person on Instagram. Shout out to Mother's Mustache. Hopefully this may be applicable to you if it would work good for your business. Before you ask any questions such as, does this work with iPhone, please watch the video all the way through because I might have answered your question already. And no, this doesn't work with iPhone. I haven't been able to get it to work with iPhone. However, I have been able to get it to work with Chromebook. It's pretty much the same process as the Chromebook tutorial that I have on my channel. I'll put a link to that video in the corner and I'll also put a link to that video in the description. So I've spent a couple of weeks with this printer. I'm pleasantly surprised with how much I've liked it. I initially was going to return this on Amazon because of calibration issues. I didn't know how to calibrate it, but I have been pleasantly surprised with compatibilities and performance of this printer. The only support you're gonna get are through comments and through my YouTube videos. So do be aware of that when you buy this printer. So who would be a good candidate for this printing solution? If you already have this printer and you have a Android phone and you wanna print from your phone to the printer, you're probably a very good candidate because it's a, a nice feature to have. If you are a low volume seller, just ship out a couple packages a day and you print one by one from your computer, you can now do one by one from your phone. If you are a super high volume seller and you need to do bulk shipping labels, you really can't do that on mobile, so I wouldn't really recommend this setup for you. With that being said, let's get into the tutorial. First thing first, you're going to need to plug in the power to your thermal label printer and you're also going to have to plug in the USB. Make sure you calibrate your printer if you haven't already. I almost returned this because I didn't know how to calibrate it and it's really easy to calibrate. Get the labels in there. They have to be touching at least the roller. With the printer off, you hold the front button, turn the printer on, it's gonna turn red. Then you let go, and now the printer is calibrating with the sensors figuring out the size of the labels. The way to see if your printer is calibrated or not, you press the feed button, and it should feed exactly one label every single time. Now this printer is calibrated, we're going to go on to mobile. We're going to open up the Google Play Store. We're going to type in NOKO Print, N-O-K-O Print, and that is the app that you're going to download. There is a paid version. This is the free version, which is covered in ads, which is kind of annoying, but it works, and if you can get by with the ads, just clicking X and out. If you wanna get rid of the ads, you can buy the paid version, or you can get this other app called Printer Share and get the paid version of this. Printer Share free version will not work. You have to get the paid version. The Printer Share, you're gonna to have to get the premium if you want no ads, and that one's $8.99. So we're going to open NoCo Print. Next step. Very important, because this is not a wireless printer. This is wired. You're going to plug your USB into your USB to USB-C converter. Your Android device must be USB-C. I have not tested it on anything else except for USB-C. And USB-C is the modern oval that can be entered either way. I will have a link to this in the description. It's a pretty inexpensive cord. I think it's a couple bucks, but it's 100% necessary for this installation, for this process. All right, we're gonna plug that in. It's asking me if I want to pay for a subscription or one-time payment. One-time payment to get rid of the ads is $9.99, but you can just click out like that and use it. We're gonna go down here to the printer. We're going to hit USB OTG kit connected. We're gonna hit OK, and it recognized the X Printer XP DT-108B label printer, we're going to tap on that. You're gonna hit select manually. You're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. Uh, tap on that zebra folder, tap on the ZP folder 
tap on the ZP450 driver and it's going to install the printer on your phone with the ZP450 driver. Uh, because this printer can recognize ZPL language, I think that's why the ZP driver works. That's my guess, I'm not 100% sure. That's pretty much the install. Before I get into the test print, I wanna explain how the printer works with platforms. I'm gonna get a lot of questions as like, does this work with eBay? Does this work with Etsy? It will work with any platform that can format the labels in a four by six dimension. For whatever reason, four by six is the standard for shipping labels. So you have to go into that platform, change the settings to four by six before you create the label, create the PDF, and then send it to the printer. To my knowledge, all of the platforms except for Mercari format in a four by six dimension. You have to go into eBay specifically to change those settings. You have to go into the eBay through the browser. You can't do it through the app. Poshmark, my seller tools, shipping label settings and they have it for you right there in the app. Etsy, I think I did it on the computer. Pirate Ship, you can pick four by six label format from the little drop down when you're printing. Here I have a sample label. I'm going to hit the three dots at the top, go to print. It says it's loading document. We're going to hit the drop down at the top, X printer, XP with the NOCO print icon. That looks good, paper size four by six, everything's correct. We're gonna hit that print button and then it creates the print job. You're gonna have to tap to open it in NOCO print. Four by six, everything looks good. I'm gonna hit print. It's gonna send the signal to the printer. Just like that, we have an adhesive four by six shipping label that can go on a package or an envelope or whatever you want to ship. I have tested this on the Zebra GC420D. I have not tested it on any other printer. I was not able to get this system working with a LP2844. I was able to get it working with a GC420D with pretty much the exact same instructions. The ZP450 might also work with this because the driver that we're using is the ZP450 driver. So I'm guessing that one will work, but I don't have one here to test. And I repeat, it does not work with iPhone. It is an Android specific thing. It's a USB-C specific thing, so if you have a micro USB port, it probably won't work. And it should work on Android tablets as well with, with the USB-C ports. I will put a link to the X printer as well as the cable in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching. Questions that were not covered in this video, please put them in the comments section. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.